and recording in three, two, one. Bloop, and welcome to the Body Surf Podcast with your budgie boys, Tim and Owie, hydrated by Hairy Man Brewery, and we just went for a cheeky little catch-up, the first in a long time, Owie, because uh, we've been in lockdown, and we've been able to see some faces that we have not seen in a while. It was lovely. Yeah, Tim, really good, actually. We, uh, we went for a surf. Bondi was there. <laughs> yes, uh, really favourite. Yeah, all the way out from the western suburbs. Good to see Bondi there. Um, Rody's biggest wave ever. Yeah. Did two, you call him on it? Yeah, two foot. <laughs> yeah, it was it was massive. It was good. Good to see Bondi um, really stretching the legs there, but only for a little time until he got a cramp. Yeah. And then he, he was in on the shore. Uh, really cold. Mm. And then afterwards we... Rehydrated ourselves. Yeah, that's right. Um, at Harry Man Brewery. I mean, you guys hydrated yourselves. I wasn't there. I had to visit my grandmother. I haven't seen her in five months. So, um, I got boy, you. I the, got you a little present. Yeah, the boys brought me a present. Uh, they got the the new the new drink here from Harry Man. Uh, is it the leather back? Yeah. Sun God IPA. All right, let's give us a give us a taste. Does anyone flick the top of their cans? I by do. the way, yeah, I, I, give, the, I love giving it a flick. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, makes the bubbles go away. Uh, all right, we'll give it a go. <laughs> this is like an unboxing video. Mm. Oh, yeah, nice drop. How was that on tap, boys? Really good? Wolfo? Yeah, it was a cracker. Uh, Wolfo's in the studio. Hey, Wolfo, how you doing, mate? Hey, guys, good to be here. Now, what, what would you like to go by today? Because there are a few nicknames going around. Oh, uh, Wolfo's fine. Wolf, Wolfo? <laughs> yeah, Wolfo. Well, what's the other one? Wolf. Wooda. 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 And then... And then our guest, who's on the line from America, California, he calls you Woofa. Woofa. Should we introduce our guest, are we? Oh, please do, Timmy. All the way from California, the CEO of Trey Handboarding, Matthew Gayhard. How you doing, man? Gayhard! <laughs> I knew I was going to stuff <laughs> that yeah, up. You almost got it. You almost, you almost got it. Sorry. I've heard it my whole life. Gayhard, get hard, get hard. Whatever, I've been called worse, right? So. <laughs> it's Geb Hard, though. Now, you're, um, you're just finishing up with, uh, with dinner. What, well, have, you, what well, have you got there? I got myself a double-double. Where from? Surprise. From In-N-Out, of Oh, course. the In-N-Out, one of my favorite uh, yeah, burger it's, joints. It's, kind, of, kind of goes with body surf, and I think, you know, got the, get the barrel, the In-N-Out, you know. Oh, that's uh, that's good actually. We don't have In and Out here at all, do we? No. we they're, they're, it's like literally none. We just got a Five yeah, Guys a in in Penrith, uh, but uh, oh, that's more of an guys. East Coast thing, isn't it? No, Five Guys is pretty good, but they're like really really expensive for like a burger, burger fries and drink. Mm. Here, don't 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 take a date out there. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna go broke. But In and Out, In and Out's a cheap uh, cheap alternative. So just yeah. a little pro tip there. Absolutely, and, and a quality burger, if I may say so myself. Um, we don't have many good burger options here in Australia, so when we do get to travel to America, In-N-Out is uh, first on the list of places to hit up. So I'm glad you're getting one in into you for dinner tonight. No, definitely, man. It's Friday for me, I guess. It's uh, Saturday for you guys, so I'm just finishing up my day. I think you guys are just getting started over there. Yeah, yeah, man. We, we just had a surf, and uh, I for the first time, rode a tray board, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I only caught one wave, but the wave was so good, I said, that's it, I'm retiring from tray boarding, that's the only wave I'm ever going to catch, and it was, a, it was a screamer, it was really, really fun. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's funny how, uh, how, how simple, you, you know, things, things get if you just body surf. But, I mean, body surfing, you need nothing, right? So a tray is kind of a step up, but uh, it's it's kind of like the the the, I mean, the the easiest route to go, the simplest way to go is keep things keep things simple, right? Now I had to go of the the tray as well, and mate, what a ride! Actually, Wolfo and I were talking about it. Um, the fins on the bottom, revolution. Uh, just yeah. really really hold the line quite well, um, Matt. I want to ask you first off, what made you think of this? Well, thanks for asking me. Uh, I, you know, it's funny how it happened. It's just uh, my background, um, you know, straight out of high school, I became a machinist and um, just kind of had this uh, dead-end job running machines and, and doing a little engineering type stuff. And 
And, uh, uh, you know, I, I kept that in my back pocket my whole life. And then, uh, you know, I started working at some, a couple of different fast food restaurants throughout my life. And, <laughs> you know, I got to, got to be able to snag a tray here and there and go hit the surf. Uh, and then, uh, and then I kind of just put two and two together. Uh, I was running, I was working at this cheesesteak shop for a little while and, uh, uh, they were, they were looking to upgrade their trays cause they were just beat, beat, beat the, beat the all hell. Mm. So I said, eh, I'll take them off your hands. And I just took them home and started tinkering cause I was surfing with trays already. And you just get that. What if moment, you know, like, what if you put fins on a tray? Like why, the, why, why, why the hell not? So I, uh, kind of got in my laboratory, which was my home kitchen and started, uh, started just tinkering around and i got some really ugly prototypes you know <laughs> that i started with you know i tried you know when i first started i i made some fins and, and i was using the trays so i'd carve up the, the plastic off the trays and just kind of heat bend them and and i couldn't figure out how to how to fuse them to the tray so one night i you know the first prototype i still got like half of it left but we uh, uh i kind of just got a torch and like heated one end of the fin and heated the tray and just tried to try to fuse it together and then i took it out for its first surf and and first wave the fins just well one fin just completely just shot off and, and <laughs> shot off so i uh that was that was the end of that first prototype and then i just took it home and started pulling pulling all these screws and and uh if you i don't know if you know what erector set is but when i was a kid i used to have this erector set which is like a build your own robot type stuff and uh i used the screws from there and it was really dangerous the second prototype because the screws are sticking out super far and you could really just kind of kind of stab yourself and then uh and then from there i i started getting a little bit more serious about it and moved from my kitchen to my ping pong table and <laughs> and <laughs> busted out the busted out the, the the clamps and the big tools and and then just started hammering hammering it out and i came up with a better prototype but you know it, was, it still wasn't anything super serious i was just doing it for myself and just riding at the beach and uh, uh i was out there one day and some kid thought that was rad i mean i mean tray boardings you know i i didn't i didn't invent body surfing with trays that's that, that's been around forever i just kind of wanted to innovate and see where i could take it and uh some kid thought it was really cool and he offered me 20 bucks in the water for it so i said hey why the hell why the hell not i just got paid to body surf and made myself another one so it just kind of spiraled from there and uh now i uh, i got cad work done and um you know i stepped up my fin game and i got i got, I got some i went to a machine shop and and now i have moved on this last year to mold so this new fry tray the fins are, are coming it's a it's a new design and uh, now i got some molds made so i'm I really kind of stepped it up and I got some more, some more ideas that I'm, that I'm working on right now just to, just to get, get even more weird with it. Really keen to, to see what you come up with next. Now, you mentioned you were working at a, a cheesesteak restaurant and, and used those trays. Have you used any other fast food trays before and, and which ones are the best? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, a huge shout out, Cambro. I don't know. I, I doubt they're listening, but um, if they if they are, Cambro, they're, they're they're the best, highest quality trays. They're made in America. They're actually in Huntington Beach. With, 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 it's only about fifteen minute drive from me, so uh, you know I'm working directly uh, with the manufacturer to get my tray trays all hammered out and and stamped and whatnot. But I have worked with multiple different trays, and and when I first started, I was. You know, when I when I was working at this cheesesteak shop, they used Cambro, but there's a couple other brands. I think there's like one called Carousel. Um, I don't know. I, I doubt anyone actually ever pays attention. Flip <laughs> over the tray next time you're at a restaurant and see what it says. Mm. But Carousel is kind of a thinner plastic. Just not up to my standards, really. Um, and, and and I kind of figured out what's the best tray because when I first started making my uh, my first tray boards, I used I was using the actual tray. I would carve up the trays for the fins and, and use that plastic. So, you know, I found a difference in the quality of plastics when I was trying out different trays. But um, there are a bunch of different ones, knockoff brands. But, you know, Cambro, they're they're super solid. It's it's uh, high, highest quality 
get. Wolfo's, uh, sh- yeah, nodding his head along. He works in the, the fast food industry and can uh, attest to that. Um, I actually just uh, did a bit of a drive-by past McDonald's because I was going to try and, and steal a tray. The first attempt I drove through and um, the police rocked up, so I had to quickly bail. <laughs> and then the second time I walked in and uh, you, you're currently not allowed to dine in because of COVID restrictions. So they're not actually using trays at the moment. So hopefully one once uh, everyone gets vaccinated, we can start dining in at restaurants again and I'll be able to start stealing a few trays from various fast food outlets. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't want to I don't want to advocate to steal the trays, <laughs> but if you if you borrow a tray, that's, you know, you can you can always bring it back, no questions asked. Um, but if you do, wear a button-up shirt next time you go in cuz you could just kind of but, but you didn't hear you didn't hear that from me. Now, something I want to ask is about buoyancy. Which one is the most buoyant? Because I used yours today, and I I found that it, it sunk in the water a bit, but that was okay because the I I don't like things that are too buoyant. They kind of almost push against you in regards to speed. So I found that the the tray was a good balance of that kind of it sunk under the weight of uh, the, the pressure you applied. Um, but for those uh, the, the people that are going to the fast food restaurants, wh- what have you found the most buoyant and what, what is the balance? Like how did you reach the balance of your trays um, being oh, set the way they are in the water? You know, the, the universe just kind of handled that one itself for me. You know, trays, you know, I think it's just the match made in heaven, really. Mm. I mean, trays are kind of neutral, I guess. Yeah. They, they're not going to sink. They're not going to sink. They're not going to float. You could push it down in the water and it's just going to kind of sit there in space a little bit and, and that's also good if you're running without a leash and you, and you just get you just get whomped out and uh, uh it goes flying around it's going to pop up in the whitewash and that's actually a reason why i used the started with the orange ones because uh, i was losing some trays in the water orange is kind of a bright color you can kind of see it mm. see it come pop it up in the water but it's yeah, it's just kind of a it's kind of just a neutral neutral thing and adding the fins to it doesn't really doesn't really change things too much um, as far as buoyancy but but I find it I find it kind of an advantage uh, advantage to it because when you're body surfing yeah you don't really want you don't really want you you kind of you kind of want it to be an accessory of yourself like what happens when you put your hand in the water mm. you know does it sink does it float it is I mean it kind of just does what you want it to do the tray kind of just does the same thing it's a uh, kind of an extension of your hand almost in a sense now matt when did you sort of go from just tinkering in the kitchen and, and on the ping pong table to getting really serious about tray boarding and and getting sort of a more professional product out there and selling it to the masses oh, uh, i would say it's the moment i started spending a bunch of money on molds and trays you know God, I never thought in my life I would be spending so much money on fast food trays. It's crazy, you know. When I got my, when I when when I got to the point, I started getting them in a couple shops around here, local, you know. Shout out Frog House, you know, Alt Surf, uh, In Flight, uh, a couple a couple local shop, shops around here, and uh, um, you know they supported me, and and I was still selling, you know, they, they're not buying mass amounts. It's just you know, if anything maybe I'm breaking even, you know, I've, 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 you know, if I, I hate to look at my bank account and see how much money I've actually spent on all this stuff, but, uh, <laughs> that, you know, I kind of, I kind of figured when I got, I got so deep into it that there's no turning back. So I, you know, when, when I started getting them in a couple shops and I started doing some farmer's markets and, and, and building it out, I, I, uh, uh, I thought, you know, I'm pretty, pretty serious about it, but, and that, you know, I built a website, but the website's like, Straight out of the nineties. That's so and, good. And I actually just so <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, and it took a lot of effort to to dumb it down. It's really hard <laughs> to make an old school website. You, like, like it's seriously. Like, yeah. you, you think you have to code code to make something good? You got to code to make it like dumb. Yeah. So, so, so that's like kind of an just like homage to uh, Geo Cities era yeah. AOL nineteen nineties dial up and. You know, that's all that's the internet i grew up on you know someone you know so, so you're on the internet and and uh, and someone calls the house it just totally crashes the whole the whole computer line <laughs> you know or you could hear the call coming through the yeah, speaker yeah. like kinda, shit 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 i gotta go yeah, yeah, just, yeah. but but it's kind of you know that's that's my era 
and 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 uh, uh, you know, I, I kind of, you know, I, 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 you know, I'm not so serious. I'm serious about it, but I'm not. You know, it's just kind of. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for me first of all, and it's in. You know, I've been doing this since uh, 2000. I started tinkering in 2012 and started making my first boards really 2013, and you know, here we are, damn near 10 years later, and it's. Uh, I can't believe, like, you know, I'm. I, I'm, I'm still I'm still messing around still messing around with these trays but you know that's that's yeah everyone has their everyone has their surf craft and their board and you know that's that's kind of my it's my go-to i you know i, I I'll, I'll go boardless sometimes but hmm. honestly like i just bring the tray every time i ride yeah now you you know you're getting serious when you you start sponsoring people and you're you're putting a tray surfboarding team together um tell us about the the first signing that you've made oh yeah this is i you know i'm baffled this is amazing you know i'm trying to we're going uh we're, we're, we're trying to go worldwide wide wide <laughs> so, so so we got we 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 we, we, we locked we locked down our uh our, uh, our our first rider in the in the country of uh the united kingdom uh mr sam Farker. He's uh, he's definitely a fucker. So uh, he, he's so, <laughs> dude is so rad. Like I'm seriously so stoked. So I've been talking with Sam. Like we we've been buddies for like years, and he's we just totally connected on trays. And he's quite the craftsman himself. And he's created, you know, a, he's created the first fiber carbon tray. He's he's created the first uh, uh, Kevlar body uh, uh, bulletproof tray, which which I personally own one of one. And like, I'm holding on to that thing, dear life. I've never tested it yet, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe in the future, uh, you know, if things get really serious. I'll start wearing it under my wetsuit and driving around like a Pope mobile, make sure no one shoots me. But, uh, <laughs> that, that he's quite the, he's quite the craftsman first person to ride a tray in a wave pool. So he's like, this is like, like big deal stuff to, to, to get this guy on the team and and and, and it just kind of came naturally and i hit him up and i was like hey man like we're gonna we're, i want to get you on the team and he's like yeah yeah let's do it so so it's kind of just a you know it, you know body surfing obviously has a huge community and i feel like like sam's just actually a really big part of this body surf community definitely out in the uk and 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 also just in trays like he he's so he's so we're, we're we're working on a couple things you know just between me and him um some some super secret stuff that that we're kind of tinkering around with uh, so maybe in the future we might be dropping dropping some crazy stuff but um yeah i'm super stoked to have him on board so we're you know we're looking to uh to kind of expand you know i got so we're you know i got boards it, it's crazy it, you know I, I can't believe like i got boards and you know i'm, I'm got boards in the uk now um um, I'm getting distribution out there, which is fucking crazy. Sorry. And then uh, I got, uh, uh, you know, Japan as well. You know, I've linked up with um, with 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 the, with the Japanese body surf community and 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 had some chats with with some of the some of the community out there. And and uh, now we're we're I'm in surf shops in Japan. I can't believe it. You know. So we're we're you know I'm I'm looking to start building out this this world team. You know, like. Let's get a tray on, you know, so at least, you know, the team should have someone representing each continent. Definitely. Mm. You know, so I'm, I'm looking to I'm looking to kind of expand a little bit more in, in other places. See, it must be interesting uh, breaking into the Japan market because their trays generally have little sections for everything like the bento boxes and stuff like that. So <laughs> they, they pull up yeah, with water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, yeah. I don't know how that, yeah. I'm not sure how that would, uh, that would work it just might sink at that point i mean i mean why not try it sure do it bento bento box bento box body surfing that, that could be that could be then that could be the next big thing I, you know i'm not sure <laughs> now now your trays have have also made their way to australia um we have uh someone who really really loves tray boarding um on the on the team here at the body surf podcast woofer <laughs> uh, is is a mad keen tray rider, and, and I, I sent you a few clips and some footage. What did you think of that stuff? Oh, dude! So so Woofa, he 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 shreds, man. He's uh he's uh, he's got something going there. Um, you know, I've kind of had my eye on him for a while. You know, and I I, I was uh, I was kind of thinking. I don't know if you know. I had this idea, but maybe should I should I just kind of 
kind of kind of test the waters here. See see maybe maybe if uh, make an announcement if, if that's cool. Yeah, yeah this, this sounds like some big exclusive news. <laughs> oh yeah, so we're you know we want to get a, we want to get a, a, a Australia represented, and uh, uh, we're announcing uh, Trey Surfco is uh, we have a new team rider. It's Wufo from Australia. <laughs> Come around here, Wufo. I'll shake for, your hand. Get that. Get get the for, tray for, there, Timmy. For, for, for reals, uh, uh, he he is uh, he is kind of leading the way out there. I can tell he loves food, and I know he likes the body surf. Oh, in the middle yes. here, Wufo. In the middle. <laughs> oh, are you, are you all there? Oh, nice. There we go. Congratulations to Alex oh, Wolfenden, also known as yeah, the Wolfer. I, I, ho- I hope you accept this proposal. <laughs> <laughs> the newest tray board uh, team rider. Congratulations. Yeah, got, to, Thanks, guys. Got, got a piece of the budgie boy. <laughs> ran, ran some trays. <laughs> oh, man, that's so good. Um, Matt, I wanted to uh, just talk a little bit about... Um, yeah, you guys going worldwide, uh, we, you're really big in, in the UK. Now, this is something that, uh, has kind of come to my attention. Wolfo sent, uh, Stephen Halpin, which is the, um, he runs fringe surfing. The, yeah, um, yeah, the inst- yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he does like a, a surfing magazine once a year. Uh, and he, he hadn't heard of you. And then Wolfo goes, oh, listen, get on, get on the tray bought one and can't put it down <laughs> and this is happening oh, yeah. the world over oh yeah dude I'm, I'm i'm yeah i'm chatting with steve like like every other day he's 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 a rad dude i'm i'm, I'm seriously honored to kind of just be you know be be kind of open up to uh uh be you know to, to that whole that their, their whole their whole culture you know they 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 you know the water's cold over there across the pond you know and uh uh they uh they shred too, they, you know, and they're, they're cool people. So yeah, he's been, he's been riding and he keeps messaging me. He's like, I haven't had a bad day on a tray yet. You know, and I'm like, dude, that's dope. So his, yeah, his, uh, they got that surf shop out there too. Uh, karma, karma, uh, karma surf shop. Um, so we're getting, we're getting some boards out there. Uh, I'm shipping out, um, this next week. Um, so we got, we'll start, we'll start expanding a little bit more out there, hopefully. Um, but yeah, definitely Steve, man, he's that, that, that dude's rad. And Matt, so for the um, uh, for like tray boarding itself, uh, would you say it kind of was birthed out of body surfing, or was it more birthed out of body boarding, or is it somewhere in between? Is it its own medium? Is like is this going to take off as something that it's not just an add-on to body surfing, or it's not just a add-on to body boarding? It's its own thing. We can just see uh, people start going, all right, have you got a tray? Yeah, I've got a tray. Here's what I ride. Let's do it. What do you reckon? It, you know, I, you know, I'm not the person to decide what it is. I, you know, it's, it's, you know, like I said, I, I, I didn't invent body surfing with trays. It's been around since mm. the sixties. And, you know, I, you know, if anybody Hawaii has like, has rights to any of that. Uh, uh, but I think it's, it's, it's something that's, that's been, I think the roots definitely are from body surfing, you know, kind of everything is coming from body surfing. Mm. And, um, this is kind of just an extension of, of, of body surfing. You know, you think, what was that? What was that moment? People started making hand planes, you know, and, and, and that's turned into this, this, this whole, this whole thing by itself, hand planes. So like, I think, you know, trays have a potential to, to just be another, another thing to ride. Uh, you know, um, Obviously, you know, and, you know, and you know, deep respect to Tom Mori, you know, I just mm. found out he, you know, he, he passed away and he's, you know, the, you know, the inventor of bodyboarding and, and he created this whole, this whole culture and people back, back, back then when bodyboarding came out and, and, and Tom Mori came out with his, uh, with his first bodyboards, it was considered like a toy, you know, mm. and it, it's like, you know, a lot of people just thought it, it was just kind of a fad or it j- wouldn't take off. But, you know, look at look at it now. It's 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 huge thing. It's 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 brought like a lot of culture to surfing and it's become its own entity. Mm. Uh, tra- you know, tray boarding, I think it has the potential to be whatever it wants to be. Um, you know, it, I, I think it's something so it's something so simple. You know, it's not going to be trays aren't you could just grab anyone could grab a tray and i totally encourage like just grab a tray and go body surf like 
create your own tray. Like, I think it's just its own, its own thing. I'm just, I'm just someone here trying to, to innovate it and, and put my, put my little spin on there. You know, I can't be the only person that's, that's ever ridden a tray and there's mm. been people that's ridden trays before me, but this is just kind of my vision and my, and, and kind of my, my artistic kind of interpretation and kind of, I, I want the, the impression that I want to leave on there. And, um, you know, I hope that I could kind of be, I, I hope that I could just kind of, uh, provide more to it. It's, you know, I, I, it'd be rad if, 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 if tray boarding's in the Olympics, that would be cool, right? <laughs> See, we're pushing Did the wrong, happen? the wrong thing here, Tim. We should be going for tray boarding in the Olympics, not body surfing. It, it, but it is, it's kind of, you know, it, it kind of is this, um, it's bigger than a hand plane. Well, except for now I got the fry tray to kind of bring it back down. It the fry tray is like the size of a hand plane. So now, you know, if they're, you know, I'm going to, you know, we're going to get this team together and uh, we're going to start going into some competitions because I don't want to hear people saying trays are too big or, you know, it's out of the size range. I don't know if that's a thing, it but, is. I could, I could, a thing. you know, pro- yeah. you know, probably it's like, what do you, why, why don't you just bring a bodyboard out to the, you know, the, the hand plane <laughs> the, competition. The slide so, grom, obviously. Yeah. So, so I figure like, all right, cool. Let's make a smaller, let's make a smaller tray. There's, I mean, what's. I mean, uh, hopefully no one says anything about fins, but uh, whatever. Take the fins off. I don't care. Like, right, 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 it, right, just the tray. But uh, it, I think, uh, I think it is kind of this um, this bridge between body surfing, body boarding. You know, there's other surf crafts that 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 make that bridge as well. But I think that that trays kind of. I think I think I think it kind of has some potential. You know, but as long as you're having fun and, and it's cheap and it's simple. And I mean, you could just, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's nothing. There's nothing to be a $150 tray. Mm. I'll tell you that. Unless it's, unless it's, unless it's bolt proof with, uh, you know, and it could do other things, but, um, I figure like, this is a good, this might be a good entry and just help, help, help people maybe get into the, get into body surfing a little bit, a little bit easier. And, you know, if people, people can't afford to, a hand plane. Hey man, like just grab a tray, you know, yeah. go, go, you, go, just grab a tray. You mentioned, uh, the, the, the fro- tray and, uh, you did have a big launch for this about two weeks ago. You slicked back the hair, you put on a skivvy, you, uh, were channeling Steve jobs and, uh, it was a great video. I watched it numerous times because I wanted to, uh, just get the best bits and cut up the audio. And it, there was so much good gear in there. It, 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 we had like a 20 minute segment. So I'm, I'm thinking, like I've listened to it a lot. And what I got from it is you have two trays and they come in different colors. Is that, is that pretty much what the launch was? Yeah, pr- pretty much like we, yeah, the, the fry tray has been uh, something on the works. It's had a couple of different names for lot since 2017 when I came up with that smaller model and fins, but I've had so many just, you know, I have a normal day job and, and life catches up with you and you get injured and stuff. And, and also shout out, uh, uh, belly Slater. I'm still alive. I don't know. You thought I was dead at some <laughs> point, but, uh, but, uh, uh, I'm here, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I thought I'm Belly was flesh. dead I'm until not... last week. To be honest, he called in the show. Oh, oh, too bad he didn't call in now. But, uh, yeah, I don't gotta, give him too much I'm leeway. Here. He probably will. Yeah, I'm, I'm still here, Belly. Hey, what's up? So, Maddie, you've got the two sizes: the the large and the 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 fry. Um, and you've got have you got two sizes of fins as well that are now interchangeable? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now, so that was something I was kind of working on. Is I wanted to be able to like, so it, you you could switch the small fins to a large tray. Mm. It, it'll it'll kind of just open up more options. Um, you know, if you had if you had both trays and both fins, you could uh, uh, you could switch to oh, wave conditions yeah. or just you know just screw around and make your make your own tray. Um, you could make the the, the tray fecta. You know, do it yourself and put run, run a run a thruster if you wanted to, um, or even. You know, it, it, and, and I haven't done this yet, and I think it's something I need. I, I all I have to do is just bust out the drill and do it, and take it to the water. But what about a quad? Run, run, run. If you if you had both boards, two small fins, you got the two big fins. Throw them all on one big tray, <laughs> and uh, and you could you could run a you could run a full quad if you wanted to. Um, it's untested, so if, if if anyone out there is trying this, it's you're on your you know, the careful, easy, easy. I don't want you to go too fast. 
but <laughs> now Matt, I um, yeah, I uh, actually have a uh, a board of my own that I've designed. It's just a kickboard uh, with a with a fin on the bottom, um, and I name it the Slay Tray. Now, um, I was wondering maybe one day we if we could do a collab because I wanted to like your boards are very simple. They're, they're, effectively, it's a food tray. Um, but I wanted to know if there's much design that goes into it. Like, do you buy a tray, say, from China, or do you are you getting these like made the in a the factory United somewhere States, from Huntington, Huntington Beach, California? That's where I'm getting my trays. Yeah, that's good. So are they for like so are these trays made specifically for a food vendor, and you just transform them, or are they getting designed specifically for body surfing? Because I was wondering, like, could you do a custom job? where it's a little bit of a different shape or do you kind of just want to go nice and traditional mm. here's a tray let's surf on it yeah so yeah i can't you know i haven't been able to like lock down any meetings with any of their uh engineers to kind of create my own my own <laughs> design i kind of just work with their uh you know yeah they're selling to restaurants you yeah. know and like here i am i'm like hey uh what you guys got and they give me this uh this kind of portfolio of different trays. <laughs> they got round trays, you know, like bar trays, uh, you yeah. know, it's like, maybe you could use that one for a skim board. I don't know, you know, <laughs> but uh, I, I had, you know, there's something that I want to do. Like, would you, like, I had an idea and I think maybe this next year I could just order some up and make a prototype. But what about like a, a Pipo size tray? Yeah. Would you be into that? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, and I think t right, so team, team Rider Woofer would uh, really like a pipo size tray, I think. Well, um, well yeah, I, th well, I think we might have to send out a prototype and get yeah. some uh, yes. get some get some test footage going. Now, real quickly, Maddie, uh, I'm guessing you've got uh, an array of trays in your floppy bucket, but what else are you kicking in your floppy bucket? What else do you take down when you're going for a little swimmy? Oh, I got my floppy bucket right here. Is it actually, actually floppy or is it is it a hard bucket? Oh, he's got a floppy. Oh, yes. It's Look at floppy. that. Oh, Budgie Boy <laughs> Blue, too. Big old floppy. This, this thing lasts forever, actually. But, you know, I'm, I keep it simple because I'm only riding trays, but I got um, I got my fry tray. I run a oh, yeah. I run a leash. Like, if, if anyone's looking to run a leash, just, just pick up a, a GoPro leash. They got the short, short six-inch ones and... Just, just, just hammer yourself out a hole and and then and then leash it up and you're good. So you don't have to chase it down the white water if you womp out. But I run a small tray, and then I got um, I got my large tray for a little bit larger waves, and then um, and I got the small fins on the large tray for for kind of just goof around and testing it out still. And then the another thing is, uh, oh, you know, I got. I got some uh, bright orange zinc yeah, for nice. my nose. Yeah, like so, so, uh, 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 skincare is no joke around here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then I, and then I, and then I run yuccas. So yeah. this is uh, uh they're the they're, I, th I think yuccas are the the best you could get right now. You know, and and these are uh, these are OG black and tans. You know, I met when I, when I first started training. You know, actually. Shout out uh, uh, Sean Starkey, dude. That dude's rad. And and he, dude, like he's he was he was actually a big part of me going forward with uh, with with trayboarding. He supported me from the very beginning. And he he hit me up out of nowhere and said, "Hey, you know, he used to have Sea Craft surf supplies before before. I think I don't think that's around anymore. But but he hit me up and he's like, dude, your trays are rad. I want to carry them. So he was actually the only other person selling trays for like a year, and he's selling my trays." And uh, uh, and and uh, when I would when I would sell him the trays, I wouldn't even take cash from him. I would just say, "Hey, let me let me get a pair of fins." And these are the fins that I got. So, and and this is like from a long time ago. These fins are like seriously like no joke. Um, but but yeah, y shout out yuccas. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks uh, for sharing your floppy bucket with us. Now we're almost out of time. We got to get out of here. But before we wrap things up, I just wanted to show you a very low res photo I have of myself riding a tray. This is back in, uh, you know, the early 2000s. I'm riding a Macca's tray down a hill behind a push bike with a sparkler bomb going off on the bike. And I'm just wondering, <laughs> do you do you endorse this sort of tray riding? 
Oh, totally. I got, yeah. Oh, definitely, man. You're shredding. Is that a wheelie? Are you doing a wheelie? And who, who, who's who's driving that thing? Uh, shout out to to Justin Crean, who was the, the bike rider, who's a big fan of the podcast. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that was that was what we used to do. We used to go steal trays and use them for, for sketching down on, on bikes. I'll, I'll give you a quick story. So back in high school, I worked for, uh, uh, when I was like 16, I worked for a, a KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, right? They had trays. And I swear, this is probably like one of my first like real interactions with trays. And uh, uh, we would get off work late, closers, and uh, uh, we would go out to the parking lot. It's completely empty. So I had this old 1984 Honda Civic, and it was like the hatchback, front wheel drive, five speed. So we take the trays. You, you put you put them, space them on the ground, your back wheels, you roll up onto them. Then you pull your e-brake. And then you're running front wheel drive. And you just start drifting <laughs> and drifting around. I, I, I'm sure other people have done this before, but seriously, it's no joke. Like if you if you if you uh if you could go drifting on trays. Uh, uh um I don't have uh I have an all wheel drive car now, so I don't think it would really work too much. But um, if I don't know, if, I don't know what you guys are running over in over in Australia. But if you got front wheel drive, I could uh, could send out a couple of trays and you could, uh, <laughs> you, could, you could you could try it out. But yeah. do it in a do it in an empty parking lot. Yep. You'll yep. knock over like that is a, a very uh, old school Australian tradition. So thanks for enlightening us with that, sir. I'm glad you guys are doing it over there as well. Uh, we really got to get out of here, Maddie. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for this interview. Um, we'll catch up very very soon, and we'll uh, hopefully get some some more footage of Wolfo on the tray for for your amazing yeah. '90s website. Definitely. Thanks for having me. Congratulations, Wuffo. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Welcome, welcome to the team. <laughs> Would you like to do the sign off, Matty? Oh yeah. It's always overhead when your body surfing. You. Bye. You. See ya.